How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It's a fresh season in Forza Horizon 4. We are now in summer, and along with that, we have access to another exclusive car. The new Hoonigan Fiesta WRC is now up for grabs for the next week. Now the reason I do a video on each one of these vehicles is because I urge you all to do this while you can because these exclusive cars are not going to be available a much longer after this week. For example, last week we had this car right here, the Hoonigan Gymkhana 10 Ford Hoonicorn Mustang, also the Hoonicorn V2 as it's known as. And now it's not in the Forzadon shop, the only way to get this vehicle is to buy it for 20 million credits from the auction house. This car is now a rare car. And this week we now have access to the Hoonigan Gymkhana 10 Ford Fiesta ST and this car will also be extremely rare after this week. So guys, while you can get this car, do it. And in today's video we're going to go through the weekly challenge of this week which will get you an easy 100 Forzathon points or 200 Forzathon points if you're VIP to allow you to unlock this straight away. So please guys, whether you're interested in this car or not, I highly recommend you do it because it's going to be worth a lot of money in the future because you'd only get it this week. So if you came to this video to see how to get it, this is how you do it. It's from the Forzathon shop. However, what we're going to do from now on is explain the easiest way to get 200 Forzathon points. For the next week, we are going to have a proceed at a high velocity weekly challenge, which we have to do in a Super GT car. So challenge one of the weekly challenge is to get and own a Super GT car. You can see on screen several examples of these Super GT cars right now. So get one of these guys, jump in it and go to the road. And you will see that that is step one complete. The second one, as you can see, is jolt your way to the front of the pack with your Super GT car. That's the second challenge. However, it doesn't actually say, but what this means is it just you just need to get 10 pass skills. So go into a race and pass loads of cars until you get 10 pass skills and you will get the challenge completed. At the moment, it doesn't specify that it's actually pass skills that you need. Um, I presume they may rename it, I think. I, well, I hope so, because it's a bit weird. But to get the second challenge done, you just need to get 10 pass skills in the in the ass in whatever you're using super gt car to get the challenge complete the third challenge is to get a total of nine stars from drift zones now the beauty about this is you can use the same drift zone over and over and over again and i would recommend doing this one right here fast travel to list one do as best as you can but keep doing the same drift zone over and over again so you can get one star nine times or you can get three stars three times and you will complete it on the same drift zone. Now the good thing about Super GT cars is they're not all massively fast, so you can kind of just slither slather all the way up the drift zone, and this one's quite easy to just get two stars on, which is 50,000 drift zone points. And two stars, you only have to do it four or five times. There we go, there's all four runs I needed to do, and I have now completed the third weekly challenge challenge. The fourth one is also very simple. You need to achieve a blistering speed worth three stars, Prince's Street Speed Trap in Edinburgh, which is this one on the map up here, which requires you to get 230 miles an hour. So you need to get a few upgrades on your car. Now for Super GT cars, this is actually somewhat difficult. Not all the cars can very easily get to 230 miles an hour, even fully upgraded. However, if you have the Ferrari 812 Superfast, this one is more than easy enough to get to 230 miles an hour through the speed trap. However, if you haven't got the 812 Superfast, just fully upgrade your current Super GT car and you should be able to get it to well over 230 miles an hour through the speed trap. I recommend starting here, taking a big run up through this straight and then taking the corner as best as possible to go through the speed trap at 230 miles an hour, which I only just managed then because I hit the lamppost. After you've done that, you will complete the weekly challenge. You can go to the Forzathon shop and you can buy the legendary Ford Gymkhana 10 Fiesta ST. 
Now, if you don't have VIP, which I presume most of you do, but if you don't and you need more Forzathon points to get to the car, then just do the Forzathon live challenges. You'll have to do, I think, three if you started at zero Forzathon points to get the car. And here it is. It's actually a pretty fun car to drive. It feels quite like the Ford Focus RS that we already have. However, still, it's a car that you want to add to your Hoonigan collection. So yeah guys, the reason I do these weekly videos on these exclusive cars is this car because I encourage you to go and do them. Because after each week, they're not going to be available again. You saw with the Hoonigan V2, they're going for 20 million credits now, which is so much more money than you have to spend. If you can get this for free, then why not do it? Especially this Ford Fiesta ST, because it looks really cool, especially with all the window stickers as well. It looks really sweet. So yeah guys, please do this where you can, try the little methods that I helped you out with and it should fly by really quickly. Add this other exclusive car to your list. Anyway ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all in the next video.